Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on one of these new Technic palettes. Now I got these from TJ Hughes and I think you can buy Technic at other places. I think TK Maxx have a few bits. Um, I'm sure I've seen them other places as well and they have a website. So um, these cost me $3.99 and one of the palettes was $4.99. So I'm just gonna show you now. So the first palette I picked up was this one. Now this one's Shaken Not Stirred and that is the dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette. So this one, they also have the Makeup Revolution one that looks almost identical to this. And I have done a video on that one, so I'll leave that down below in the description bar. They have this Peanut Butter and Jelly palette, which just looks like the Huda Desert Dusk palette. So that one just looks like that. They have the, um, this is the Urban Jungle palette, which looks like the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I do have a video on the Revolution version of this as well so we'll also link that one in the description so those threes were 3 dollars and then this one was 4 dollars this is a lot bigger so this is the heat is on so it kind of looks like the Morphe 3502 I think it is so like the really warm colors and then some neutral browns in there so today's video I am going to be using the Shaken Not Stirred which is the Technic which is the sorry it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture dupe and then if this video gets enough likes or enough you know people watching it I'll do some videos on the other ones so if there's another one that you want me to do a video on uh, please let me know in the comments you know and then obviously the, like the more popular ones will get done okay so I'm gonna be doing the video today on the shaken not stirred palette so I'll be doing a little eye tutorial using this so let's open it and have it a look I do like how the back has got some rose gold on it and again this was three pound 99 so an absolute little bargain it cost me like 16 pound for four eyeshadow palettes it's really good so it's just a very simple technique on the front so on the back of this it's just quite plain but it does actually say it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans which is pretty cool and it is made in China though so I know some people don't like things that are made in China so it just looks like this it looks almost identical to the revolution palette that I did a video on I don't have that palette anymore but yeah it just looks identical just like that so I'm just gonna pop off camera for a little bit of time I'm gonna do one of my eyes and then I'm gonna do the other eye on camera with you guys okay so I have done this kind of basic look with my eye today um, I just want to say that I'm not a makeup artist, so just do makeup because I like playing with makeup. So don't expect some massive cut crease, you know, amazing style jobby because that's not me. I just do makeup for myself. So I'm going to zoom you in now and we're going to do this side of my face. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eye and I'm going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in the shade white. I um, quite like this. I think I got it on offer um, sometime on the Smashbox website. So yeah, I'd, uh, I'd pick that up if you can. And I'm just going to use a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush just to buff that in. Okay, so that is the white base on and it doesn't actually look that stark white or I don't think it does but I'm not going to set it um, because I've heard that you know P. Louise doesn't set her base and she really makes colours pop so I'm not going to set mine. So the first colour I'm going to use is this kind of like peachy orange shade in the middle and I'm gonna, just going to use that as a transition colour. So I actually forgot to say that the first brush I used was just a Smashbox blending brush. Um, I've had it for a few years so I don't think you can get it anymore but I'm sure they'll do similar ones. And then a lot of the brushes that I will be using are by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, they just look like this. 
and this one's a soft crease bullet brush um, I really like Make Prediction Cosmetics brushes because you can get like a bundle of brushes, like eye brushes, and they're often doing like deals on them. So I got like the white set for about £15 and they are really good. Um, they have a massive following on Instagram and I think they have the purple set that we'll also be using. I think that's usually around the £25 mark. I think it's different hairs that they use in the brushes, but um, I really like both of them. So the next colour I'm actually going to use is this kind of bright yellowy orange colour and I'm going to also put that in the crease as well. The next colour that we're going to use is this kind of um, blue kind of teal kind of colour and I'm going to use that in the outer crease um, or the outer part of my eye. I'm just going to pack that on with um, like a little Anastasia brush that you get free with the palettes and then I'm going to kind of diffuse it with this Expert Blender by Make Prediction Cosmetics. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take like this kind of lime green colour and put that all over my lid. Um, I'm going to be using the classic shader brush, which is just like kind of a flat stiff brush from Makeup Addiction. And I found this colour a little hard to pick up, so I might actually go in and use my finger as well. So I've just put a little bit on with my finger and it applies so much better with your finger. Um, so I'm just going to go over this one as well with it. Wow, yeah, so much more payout with your finger. Okay, so next I'm just going to take like this white it's like a white with like a duochrome pink in it and I'm just going to put some of that on the brow bone using a Coastal Scents brush. So this is the C5, so I see CSO2 brush. I wish they just had names on them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put some of that on the brow bone now. Now I'm going to go back into that yellow shade and just put some of that on my lower lash line. I'm just going to line my lower lash line with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve. Okay, so off camera, I've also applied a little wing using the Revolution, um, I think it's called like the Renaissance Liner, something like that. It just looks like that. And I've also topped up my mascara. It's the Mascara by Revolution. What do you guys think of this? Um, I'm not kind of sure. It's a good mascara, but I also use the Essence Lash Princess. And I love that mascara and I kind of think that, you know, this £5 difference, I might as well just buy my Essence one. But yeah, what do you think of this, guys? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know in the description box. Last step, and what I'm actually going to do on this is I'm just going to apply some highlight in the inner corner of my eye. And this is the Double Dimension Highlighter in Goddess by Primark. Um, I showed this in my last Primark haul, the November version. It's so good, this, this highlighter. I'm actually using it on my face. I don't know how well you can see but it's such a lovely highlighter so I'm just going to put some of that in my inner corner and it has like a little bit of a peach reflect to it so it's absolutely stunning. 
Okay, so that is the finished look that I've done with this palette, and I actually prefer the eye I did on camera, um, which is really funny. Okay, so now that I have done the eye look, I just wanted to give a few little thoughts about this palette. Um, it's actually a really good palette. I, I was expecting it to be a bit naff, really, because um, I think I've tried Technique makeup in the past and you kind of think of Technique as, or I do personally, as kind of like the makeup you have when you're starting out. Um, so not great makeup but it's very affordable. Uh, but this was actually really good. Um, I would say that this actually performed the same if not better than the Revolution version of this and that was because the mattes were really good, the mattes were really blendable and um, I did have a little bit of fallout when I was blending on this kind of bluey tealy shade and um, these two other colours were like the oranges and the yellows were really good, really enjoyed those but the thing that for me made it a little bit better than the Revolution palette was um, this shade on the Revolution palette, and you'll see it if you watch my video, um, was very chunky, it was hard to pick up with a brush, um, it just didn't apply very well, and when I applied it with a brush, it applied a little bit better than the Revolution, but then when I went in with my finger, it just really made it pop on my eyes and it's it's just it's just a better shadow than the revolution one and it's the exact same price and obviously this is my first impression um, but my first impression is really good on this so I didn't actually think it was actually going to be very good just because it was a £3.99 palette and yeah it's actually made me think you know we'll pick up some of the other palettes that they have I'm thinking I will do some videos on the other one, whether you want to watch them or not. Um, I actually do kind of want to film them. So thanks for watching this video. I would definitely check out this palette and I will see you again shortly. Bye.